Hello, Ron Mithril here once again, getting back to Mega Man Battle Network for Red Sun. So now that we've taken care of the Video Man scenario, it's time to continue our second run through the Eagle Tourney. So we'll skip right over to the Tourney Tree, and we have a Heal Navi to deal with. This is actually the only standard class Navi scenario we haven't done yet. Our next opponent, Crusher? Crusher, eh? He's a normal Navi, but his name sounds tough. Don't worry, we didn't have any problems this far. You and I can beat any opponent. It'll be a snap. Ha! Huh, you're pretty sure of yourself, ain't you? Yow, what a scary face. Shh, you're talking too loud, Lan. I'm Crusher's operator, Riki, your next opponent. I'm Mega Man's operator, Lan. Heh, <laughs> well, at least you're an optimist. Try cooling your heels, wrong heels, and wait for the match anyway. Don't think I'll go easy on you because you're a kid, okay? Right, Crusher? You got it, boss. You said your name's Mega Man? Don't lose too quickly, man. That'd be a letdown. Of course not. <laughs> All right, then. I look forward to it. Ah, that guy looks tough, but he's all bluff, right? Yeah, no kidding. And so with that, all we have to do is leave. Boss, don't make me keep repeating myself. There's no way I'm gonna follow in your footsteps. Huh, isn't it time you stopped acting like a spoiled kid? Your face is perfect for a gang, boss. With a face like that, you were meant to take over. Taking over the Mafia after I'm gone's your destiny. And you think you can win this fancy tournament? Take your winnings, quit the organization, and open a bakery? <laughs> okay, I'm not sure which amuses me more, that the big tough guy wants to run a bakery, or that the Mafia is run by a little old lady with pink hair. That's kind of amazing. <laughs> Don't make me laugh. Oof. What's wrong? Hey, Crusher, answer me. Crusher. I'll just hang on to your navi until the tournament's over. Forget about the stinking bakery and be the next boss. Wait, boss! I can't compete without Crusher. Well, that was kind of her point, actually. Um, are you okay? No! What should I do? Huh? I... I can't do anything without Crusher. Er, don't look at me like that. Are you mad at me for acting like a hotshot just now? I'm sorry, forgive me. Ah! Huh. You seem just the opposite from how you were before. What's going on? I have a pretty scary face. So ever since I was a kid, bad guys have made me their boss. Before I knew it, I was in the Mafia. What a scary group. Now it looks like I'm gonna be the boss again. Really, Lan? <laughs> you know, nothing scares me when I'm with Crusher. But I want to leave the Mafia as soon as I can. I want to quit it so I can fulfill my dream of running a bakery. Hmm. Now that I know the story, I kind of feel sorry for him. I want to help, but it's the Mafia we're talking about. It's okay. It's my destiny to be around bad people my whole life. Don't say things like that. Mega Man, can we help him somehow? No, we can't go against those guys. But I'd like to do whatever I can. Let's go see that old lady, the boss of the Mafia. She should still be close. And indeed she is. Right down here. So where's Riki's Navi? It's locked up in the park. I've rounded up some boys to stand guard. No one can get in. Make sure of it. Okay. You won't be able to boss us around long, old lady. Hehehe. <laughs> Intrigue! So, you got anything new to say? Whoa! Where's Crasher? It's lonely without him. Yeah, you've already forgotten his name. <laughs> anyway, back to the park with us. Alright. So, 
out of Castillo, and into park area proper. It's full of Mafia navvies. We'll be in big trouble if they see us. We'll have to just sneak past when they're not looking. Hey! Metal Gear! Respond! Answer me! Can you hear me? It's me! Is everything okay over there? Alright! Okay, listen up! We gotta dispose of Crusher soon! What? Without Crusher, Riki's just another coward. That way, he'll never be our boss. Then we get rid of the old lady and we can take over. Hehehe! <laughs> Oh no! We'd better hurry up and rescue Crusher! And so, yes. This is a stealth mission. In an engine that really wasn't made for it. Basically, it's hard to tell what the line of sight of the Mafia Navis is. If they had, like, a flashlight that you couldn't step in, kind of like the guards from Sly Cooper, that'd be one thing. Instead, you just have to really hope that they don't see you. Also, of course, there are random virus battles going on during all this. So that does make things rather problematic. The problem as far as all the random virus battles during the scenario is that once you get out of a virus battle, you aren't allowed to move for a split second, and sometimes that's just enough for one of the Mafia Navis to get in your way. They actually can start moving as soon as things start coming back. You have to wait a moment. Kind of annoying, that. I will show what happens if you get caught a little bit later. I really don't want to do it in this area because the punishment here is a bit bigger, and you just had to come this way, didn't you? They do, for the most part, have set paths that they follow. Alright, let's get out of here. I'll show a couple of things as far as being spotted right here. First off, that guy there can see us across the gap if he turns this way. The one down there can see us too, maybe. Huh? No, I guess he's not quite close enough. But just to show that the penalty generally isn't that bad, we'll let him spot us. Over here! Who do you think you are? Get out of here! No health penalty, we just get sent back to the beginning of the area. Now, what I was saying about that penalty being worse in the first area, the reason is it sends you back to the entrance of Park Area 1 as if you had come from Town Area 3, not as if you dropped in from Castillo. So that's a little more annoying. Oh, that was a mistake. Fireman, save me from my mistake. Thank you. That was almost really stupid. So yeah, you do have to be careful about the Mafia Navi spotting you over gaps. And also, just accidentally scrolling a Mafia Navi onto screen because of the size of the screen. It's one of those ideas that it's interesting on paper, but I feel like it could have been implemented a bit better. For me, this is one of the more annoying scenarios. Part of it, admittedly, is... In general, I'm not too big into stealth gameplay, the whole hurry up and wait factor.
just not really my thing. There are, of course, exceptions to the rule. I did enjoy playing the Sly Cooper games, for example. Those were pretty fun. I've played one through three now. I don't have a PS3, so that's as far as I can play the series. But they were pretty enjoyable overall. Alright. So that's the first two areas down, and I'm actually going to call a refreshing pause, because there's something very particular I want to do here, and it's going to be kind of tricky, so back in a moment. So here we are in Park Area 3, ready to continue the search for Crusher. But there is something else I want to take care of first. And it's not Fine Trap Mystery Data. Oh well. Well, that's kind of overkill, and it's probably not going to take care of all my problems. Go ahead and at least take care of you. And there we go. So I'd called the refreshing pause to make sure this was even going to be possible, because I wasn't quite sure. Gotta watch out for that guy. Alright. Gonna sneak through here keep an eye on the guy behind the HP display. I need to sneak behind him. Going for it! Alright. This group again, huh? Simple enough. Right then. Hi there, video men. I'm here to rescue you from the Mafia. What? You don't need to be rescued? Too bad. So let's see here. Didn't quite get there in time to demonstrate a double hit with Sparkman. But now Video Man's blinded. You can't tape what you can't see. Actually, that's not true at all. You're just going to be filming blind. Alright. Pretty soon he's probably going to go into fast forward mode. I want to save Fireman so that I can flinch him out of this. Ah, complete miss. Problem with that focused of an attack and that fast of an opponent. So let's go with something a little more widespread. Dodge that! So now that we flinched him out of that, he should go into rewind mode pretty soon here. Come on, you know you want to. There it is. And so yeah, he heals up pretty quickly at this rate. So, at least he got to show that off. And there we go. We now have a Video Man chip. So let's see what that's all about. Video Man. Attack Tape Slam 2.5 in. Okay then. I have no idea what that means. We'll temporarily replace Sparkman. I'm too happy having Fireman in the folder again. Just like old times. 
Okay, gotta sneak behind him again. Kinda want him to be facing up. Just like that. 